house together forever, motorcycle batteries. Uh, so it's almost spring here. Have a look around, the snow is melting. Uh, it's almost time to get out and get riding. I've uh, got a few things that still wanted to do on the, uh, the end field before uh, springtime gets here and you put plates on the bike. Uh, back of the bike right now. I'm still waiting for some parts on uh, the, uh, the tail section to do the, uh, the tail lights, signal lights. Um, and then, so what I'm going to do today though is uh, I'm going to change four coil on this bike. Now I should have done it last year when I put the boots on. I had the forks off then and I really should have done the four coil, but I didn't. Uh, my reason behind wanting to change the four coil is that I've heard on numerous uh, uh, forums and stuff about uh, the end pills. They're not always consistent in the amount of oil that's in the forks from the factory. So just for peace of mind and to see what's in there or the amounts in that, I'm going to change the fork oil. Uh, I'm going to go with about a 10 weight. All I'm going to use though uh, when I replace the fork oil is uh, ATF. So I've got a synthetic uh, ATF. Uh, everything I've uh, been able to read uh, about the, uh, the ATF, this is a Dextron uh, ATF synthetic. Uh, is that it's basically the same as a 10 weight four coil and it's synthetic now infield from the factory uh, this comes with a I think they call it a 5w something or other it's it's kind of not quite sure what the the actual weight of this uh, four coil is but uh, going with about a 10 weight then I could sort of establish a baseline and if the forks work uh, nicely which I think they will then uh, I'm just gonna leave that in there but if not uh, I'm able to change it up by going with an actual fork weight and a, or a heavier weight or a lighter weight if that may be. So uh, first things first is a couple things I want to do. Uh, I've got to put the uh, the bike up on a, uh, a fork stand or front stand, front end stand, triple tree stand. So uh, one thing I learned from last time is to make sure to take the fender off first because this can and did uh, scratch your fender if you don't take it off first. So you got to take the fork brace off. And I'm also going to tape up the uh, caps up here so that they don't uh, get scratched up by the wrenches. Right. Uh, in addition to the uh, uh, fork oil, what I'm going to do is uh, I've got a, uh, another headlight bracket here uh, that I'm going to put on and mount this up here instead of this uh, sort of bulky uh, silver one. So we'll use this uh, CNC one. Uh, this is just uh, this is uh, the, from China, one of those ones. We'll see how it goes. And as well, these... Uh, these signal lights, which are quite bright, uh, they'll mount in there as well, so we'll see how that all goes. Uh, yeah. All right, got it back up on the uh, stand here. Uh, fender's off. Uh, bolts are, uh, or the, uh, the adjusters are loose, so that when the uh, tubes are out, I actually be able to take them out, no problem. So now uh, I'm going to remove the caliper front wheel assembly, get those off, and then we'll start unloosening the, uh, the pinch bolts and drop the forks out uh, as well. We're going to have to take the boots off just so we've got some more movement or more freedom of movement with the, uh, the forks up and down. Uh, yeah, so get started on that. The front caliper. I'm going to tie it back to the frame here. Looking for my... Okay, yeah, the zap strap. The little trick with the zap strap is if you want to be able to reuse it again and not have to cut it, just flip it over so that it doesn't lock in place. Should be enough friction there that it'll hold whatever you need though. In this case it holds there. When it's time to take it off, it just slides right off. So just a little little tip. Mindful of the spacer. So we've got the uh, the headlight uh, mount loosened off now. All the pinch bolts off on this side, so it should just this fork should just drop right on. What's going on here? There we go. There's one fork. Let's set that fellow down right there. You know, as you notice, the uh, clip-ons on these aren't uh, free-moving. Free They're actually attached here 
with a, a bracket that connects the uh, the top triple to the uh, the clip on. So it doesn't give you a whole lot of room to to move around and stuff. But anyways, just thought I'd point that out. Just as a you know something interesting. Uh, so now we'll get over to the other side. Drop those out as well. So all right, got both forks off. No real issues. Take the boots off. Just loosen these here. And they should, the gators should just. That's just a bit of residual oil from when I assembled them last year and not any leakage, which I don't think it is, but I'll have to keep an eye on that this season. So, next thing we're going to do is take the top caps off and uh, God, I can turn this off just by hand. I think I can because I loosened it. Yeah. Then we'll. Uh, drain them and I want to see actually how much oil comes out of each leg and uh, we'll show you that. spring is down there uh, still quite a ways so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump it in this one cup here and so you can see just how much oil we have in this leg. Spacer that sits on top of the spring. that. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to Bert's Clumsy Garage. Okay. So now what we've got to do is, yeah, that seems quite thick actually, but it is cool. Pump it to get any oil out of the dampening rods. Now on to the second one. Same uh, procedure. Okay. These have sat. Got basically all the oil out of them, and, and uh, just to point out here. Um, I've drained them both the same. There's, you know, a few milliliters probably here and there, but basically, uh, the the levels were equal. Uh, absolutely, uh, you know, good enough for for every sort of day-to-day -day, uh, workings. So yeah, that's it. Uh, now what we're going to do is uh, fill the forks back up, and the way to do that is with the forks fully compressed springs and spacers out and I'm going to go with the uh, the air gap method which 
it says uh, 140 mill millimeters from the top to the level of the oil. So what I've done is just uh, some bamboo skewers here. I don't have any fancy tools or equipment, uh, but basically I'm going to set this down in here and uh, use it as a dipstick and top it up to uh, 140 mill milliliters, sorry, millimeters from the top. Like I say, I've got the uh, synthetic uh, ATF here, uh, which in turn, these aren't fancy cartridge forks. They're not, uh, you know, they're not high-end, high-performance forks. They're just damper rod forks, honestly. Uh, All right, so I've put, uh, I guess I've put about 350 mils in now. So far, and I'm just going to cycle the fork leg up and down to try and get any air bubbles out of the damper rods and let them fill up with with fork oil. We're still a ways away. Yeah, there's some. Okay, so if you look here, there's the line right there, and it's just touching. So that's our level. Okay, so uh, going to reinstall the forks and springs here. All right, so going to reinstall the forks. The springs, uh, not too worried about the, any residual oil that's that's uh, on the springs. It's not like it's dirty motor oil. best I can right now and then uh, further tighten it once it's reinstalled and the triple clamps are tight. But this makes me good. Got it basically there right now. So now do I'll repeat the same procedure on the other fork leg and back to putting everything back together. All right, so managed to get the uh, the one fork up and into the top triple. I'm just going to snug these guys up here on the bottom. Uh, I'm not going to torque them yet because not finished with it yet, but uh, and they've undone the headlight because as I said before I'm going to replace the the headlight brackets. But I just wanted to sort of get this front wheel back on and be able to wheel the bike into the garage for the night because I think we're going to have to finish this up tomorrow. We're kind of losing daylight here right now. Don't want to mess with it too much. In the darkness, and it is getting... A little cold too. So I'm going to like I say I'm just gonna snug things up right now and then I'll 
I'll torque them too. Down a bit more. Down a bit more, you yeah. say? Yeah. Just a touch. A touch. That's right. Hmm. I think that's enough. There you go. Ah, uh, yeah. That's good. triple and then we'll get the front wheel back on and then roll it in like I say this project today has gone a little bit longer than I expected and had a few interruptions but 